And, uh, I know this will be a 5,000 parter, I guess. Uh, alright, so, yes, a an arrow sailed past your head, Mogwell, but it came very close to hitting you. Let's get right back to it. And then an arrow from over here is going to be aimed at Meserak. Did I drop again? No. Okay. I'm, I'm paranoid now. The paranoia is set in. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be nice. Meserak, you're hit for 15 damage. As you've been... As... You've been hit in the back as you were distracted with fighting this bonga. By the way, Sid, in case someone, in, in case some of us mention it, uh, we updated our token HPs for the next, for leveling up. Yeah, that's good. Wait, I, uh... How come my health bar doesn't... Oh, uh, never mind. It's... That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Bagheera's there <laughs> to block it. I was wondering that, I was too. Like, I was like, how come my health bar See, Oh, look, I'm perfectly fine! Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, Monty. Have we spotted anyone that hasn't taken a combat turn yet? No. Nope. I mean, All right. I think, yeah, I think everyone's taking a combat turn. Gonna shoot the one on the right. All right, shoot the bear on the right. That is going to hit her. The poor soul. What ah, the hell? You're, you're hitting. That's what counts. You're hitting. Move actions or no? Uh, no. I'm gonna stay behind the bush. Okay. Does then it is. Cover? Mm, you're popping your head out to take your shots, so I say no. If you are crouching behind the bush, sure. But yes, it is Messerak's turn. Okay. I'm still on Bagheera, but I'm doing it side by side just so I can. Yeah, I understand. Alright. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and just pull out, like, one short sword. Kinda still has the pistol, but... It, so it's gonna be, like, the offhand, unfortunately. Because I, I still sword couldn't... And gun here. What's that? Sword and gun? Yeah. <laughs> There's way too many penalties for that. Oh. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls, sure. Actually, I can hit the Viera up here, can I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that whole fucking find out the fucking hypotenuse. <laughs> we already did that once, well, and I fucking hated it because it delayed the shit out of the game. Oh, well, that's 25, right. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. No, be thirty. It'd be right. thirty. Thirty. Bagheera. Thirty, yeah. then fifteen feet up. So that just just stay at like forty five. Does how how much range does your gun have? Thirty. It, Shush. <laughs> yeah, it's at disadvantage. <laughs> oh no, no. So this is what you get for uh, actually doing the math. <laughs> you you ruin your party members' chances, and you also what? delay the game. Uh, no, see thirty. See, look at that thirty. <laughs> nope, it's too late. She has disadvantage now. Boom. Wow, re -roll. that was really shitty anyway. See? Boom, re-roll. No, the two would be the... No. If you you just re-roll disadvantage, it, that's how it works. Yep, you just re-roll disadvantage. <laughs> no, cut. Alright. No, you, you re-roll. I promise me. <laughs> Alright. Okay, yeah, your your shot goes wildly astray. If my mm. next roll is a uh, two, I'm or refreshing. One. Mogwell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, hmm. Let's see here. So, how how injured does this guy look? 
Oh, barely injured. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do... He hasn't taken injury since the uh, bullet wound, huh? Nope, he hasn't. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... Hmm. Take a look. Uh, this, this one took, like, four damage, right? Uh, yes, she did. Yeah, I shot an arrow without a head at her. Alright, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Try and... It does hit. For eight... Alright, she looks badly wounded as a... Beam of force just punches her right in the gut. Use a stereotypical... It's always a gut punch when it's that much damage. And well, I'll... proportional. I'll walk up there. I'm not gonna, you know, do anything else as I can't. Alright, it's Dasutin's turn. I looked at uh, that guy swinging a longsword. Alright, look at the bong and swing your longsword. Got it. Let's see what, uh, roll with disadvantage. What, what, what happened? Did I miss something? No. Everyone's been rolling with disadvantage against this guy. Do I, do I add, like, a multiplier? Just roll, I know your bonuses, just roll 2d20. Okay. We'll see if we have a hit against this guy finally. Nope! You hear, E-Gads! It looks horrifying out there! Also, you said you scaled this encounter down. I do not remember this guy <laughs> being front guy being so difficult. Hey, you! Uh, You're not being a very nice person. What? It's a Koopo. It looks like a Moogle. Yeah, you're not being a very nice person, Koopo. Just wandering in and taking shit. As he casts a spell and four missiles of force slam into you, Mogwell. Alright, cool. I take... Oh, crap. <laughs> take a cool amount of damage. Seem wounded, but, you know... Actually, wait one second. I took down two people. Let's bolster that for a second. I had 12 temp HP. Okay, so you take six damage then. Yeah, I take six damage. Okay, so be at twenty. All, all the temporary HP. Yeah, that's not nice. And then he's gonna scurry out of you. Mm -hmm. And then it's Bagheera's turn. Because that's a Moogle, am I am I able to sense where he went? Yeah. Uh, what is that? Is that like an action to focus or? Um. Because he's a favored enemy, I can... Oh, you can just sense I, it. It's an advantage on track. Um, oh, no, that's... Yeah, it wouldn't work unless there's some bird or something I could talk to. And yeah. it's Bagheera, so that don't matter anyways. Okay, we're going to deal with the bonga first, and then we'll come back to that. Um, Is it still a disadvantage for Bagheera, too, then? Yep. And why is that? Well, you see, he's been fo he hasn't been really attacking you. He's been more of uh focusing on not getting hit. Mm. If you're uh for the mechanically inclined amongst us, he's taking the dodge action and only the dodge action. If the fun action Are we able but to stealth around him to go through the door then or not? No, the gate seems to be shut. What material is the gate made of? Iron. Mm. Yeah, melt. No. Okay. I mean, um, if you want to fire scorching rays and have it reflect off, sure. No, not scorching rays. There's melt metal. You mean heat metal? But something actually, like that. actually, if anything, what I was gonna try and do is I was gonna try and green flame blade the guy, and, and then, then green then flame blade the door. Yeah. Yeah. See if I could see if I could like light saber this or something. Well, anyways, uh, I don't think Bagheera has much else he can do right now, so he's gonna still try to fight him, but... 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's actually. Nope. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna make a recommendation. Well. I was gonna say, have bag have Bagra use the what's it called? Have Bagra use the help command. Bagra. Mm. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't work anyways. No, All right, well, the help command. I, I just remembered that I could be inspired, but that even uh, Maxwell wouldn't help. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so this guy seems to have taken a swing at you, Mogwell, but he has missed, and yet he seems to still be blocking as the Vieira's turns come up. Both of them are going to take pot shots at you, Mogwell, because you're kind of decimating them right now. All right, this is going to be fun. Oh, they have dear. to be the 16. They have to be the 16? Yeah. I have bad news for you. Take 20 Double damage <laughs> as they both God. sink arrows into your <laughs> chest. DHP. Holy. 1 DHP. <laughs> 1 DHP. Yeah. Yeah. See? That love has and then this DHP. one is going to vanish from view. Cool. Monty, hey buddy, how you doing? Doing good. You better not, you better not steal my kill when I have one HP. <laughs> no, you can mm. steal, you can steal the kill when he has mm. one HP. Mm. I mean, you definitely can. <laughs> at this point, okay. At this point, I really hope you guys have realized that he can. Oh, actually, one second. Can That's I fire a bold move. That guy, while he's surrounded by them, or oh uh, yes, you would be rolling with disadvantage. All right. Unfortunately, it misses. And that would make it Messerak's turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get off of Bagheera, go under the Bonga, cure mm -hmm. wounds to Mogwell, which, hang on. Well, shit. Can I re-roll that? <laughs> nope. Sadly, it's only on D20 rolls. Yeah. All right, and then... I mean, healing is healing. Take that would be the next available open space, or would it be over here? You that move, yeah, right can, there. It's like there? I, either or. Oh yeah, you can yeah you can move uh yeah you could wait how much uh movement speed was that that was one two that was five. Five. twenty five total. Yeah, you can move there. Okay. And that makes it Mogwell's turn. All right. Sorry, Mogwell, I tried to help. You're you're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, do you mind if the familiar, like, my familiar starts acting? Uh, go ahead. The familiar can start acting. All right. I want the familiar to use the help command with me. All like, right. Uh, I'm, not, me. I'm not exactly familiar with that. What does that do? Uh, they roll, like, a, they roll to hit the enemy. If they pass a 10, they help me, if I remember correctly. Uh, that sounds like a Pathfinder thing. But, uh, sure, we'll do that no, for right no, now. No, I... It's a thing in 5e. I'll even look it up. I know. Right now. I know. No, no, don't look it up. We'll do the uh, do the 10 thing, and then I'll look it up while you're doing it, and we'll correct help it. action 5e. Got it right here. Don't worry. <laughs> you can lend A to another creature to help complete a task. When you take the help action, the creature. Uh, let's see. Oh no! Don't even need to make a roll. Just aid a friendly creature, and it it gives them advantage on the attack. Okay. So, the the chocobo is like cheering me on. You no, know, I feel great. I have advantage on this attack. But then well, I assume he you, you have know, disadvantage as well. So it's just a regular attack roll unless yeah, you're exactly yep. exactly. So, and I'm gonna <clears throat> no, I'm I'm gonna go for the tried and true. I'm gonna go for a tried and true generic warlock eldritch blast right in this guy's face. That would give you double disadvantage because it's a ranged spell attack and you're attacking into melee. 
Alright, well, if I knew that, then I would, uh, long sword. Okay. Oh! Well, re Well, yep, yeah, go with the Moogle. <laughs> that is the one good thing about Moogles. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, he still blocks your hits. Sadly. Dasutin! Should I intimidate him? You can intimidate him, sure. Might as well step out the gate. Step out the way. What are you gonna do about it, little thing, you? I'll destroy you. <laughs> Vicious. I'll destroy you. Uh, when when Dasutin says this, the uh, Mogul gives a thumbs up. Gives <laughs> gives the tried and true Mogul. Yeah, yes, mage hand thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Roll for uh, uh, you roll your intimidation, intimidation, which is your charisma. Intimidation is uh, charisma, and then if you have uh, intimidation as a class skill, which I think you do because you're a paladin. Uh, he actually two. has it as a proficiency skill from his background. So, okay, you yeah, roll d twenty plus four. D twenty plus four. Gotta, gotta like that charisma though. Yeah. All right, I. Ooh. I'm going to contest it with his wisdom. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Listen, I'm just a hired hand. All right, here's the key. Here's the key. All right, you can, you can destroy, you can, you can s stop destroying me. All right, please, uh... now. What, once again, the trusty Mog will thumbs up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I will leave. Oh, are you shitting me? You stupid what? motherfucker. What? No, no, no. That's what, Is uh... Is that in character? Yes, that's in character. <laughs> hey, that's it. Okay. We're gonna have... I'm gonna have Cory destroy the shit out of you if you don't stand up and fight. Contested uh, intimidation check. It is going to be a contested intimidation check. It's like I feel this is what it should have been from the beginning: Dotsitun's intimidation check versus that guy's intimidation check. You, your coupos do your coupos do not frighten me. We'll see about that. He was talking to the guy that was yelling at him, not you. Your coupo, your coupos frighten him. But then, uh, <laughs> hmm, let's see. I got a, I got choices to make. Bondra's turn. It is not. Oh, right. Hidden people. So, let's see what I can do here. I got a... I got options. <laughs> I may, I may have, uh, upped the difficulty spike a tiny bit. Yeah, because we haven't even gotten in the doorway yet, right? Yeah, you know. Okay, so Oh, this is gonna be fun for me. Okay, so let's see. Mogwell, you fall asleep. As a guy uh, from beyond wait, the wall. Wait, yep. Wait. Is it is it anything I could see? Nope. What I alright. <laughs> I, I I know, that's one of the fun things about sleep in five E, you can't save. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, no, it's just roll 5d8 and then starting from the lowest hit dice, just hit points, just keep on. Yeah. So let's see what we have. And then uh, the bonga falls asleep. Okay. Yep. Starting from lowest hit points and then they can just keep it going. Yep. They don't even have to roll to keep it going. They just, uh... Nope, they just continue subtracting from their amount. So, at 5 to 8, uh, unless they even they caught, cast it at a higher level, it's even stupider. <laughs> I really hope they just cast it at first, so maybe I'll be up sometime. During... It's Bagheera's turn. Wait, no. no. Oh my God. How, much, how much damage do you do to the manga, just so I can mental math a little bit, pretending numbers are real? 
Um, like at the very beginning. She did like five damage. Okay. I mean, he's I mean, he's he's he surrendered before he fell asleep. So. Oh yeah, no, no, no. That I do know. I was talking about a. Uh, I'm just doing mental math, pretending oh, okay. I know all the numbers involved. Oh well, stop pretending. Bagheera, your turn. What are you gonna do? Okay, so the door's still shut for right now because he just got the key, right? Yeah, he dropped the key at Dasutin's feet. Okay, so... Or no, he's going to drop the key at Dasutin. Well, shit. He got put to sleep, <laughs> so you guys have to take the key off his person. Can Bagheera do that with his paw? I don't think... I don't think he can do that. Uh... Is that a no... Ah, you know what? Just because I want to see it, sure, yeah, let's... Why not? <laughs> Why not let Bagheera fucking sleight of hand his way? <laughs> okay, I kind of wanted him to, like, knock out the key and kind of, you know, kind of side-sweep it to uh, Meserak. Or, you know, at least out of his hand. Well, let's see what that, that sleight of hand check does. Setting hand is dexterity? Yep. Oh, crap. Bagheera does manage to take the key, but he also tosses you the belt that the dude was wearing. Because <laughs> he, just, he just ripped it off. <laughs> he just ripped the belt off. You have the belt in your hands. The keys are there. I'm also going to refresh just to try to get better rolls. Okay. If that's how it works. I hope so, because, crap, I haven't had anything above 10 for quite some time now. The Vera sees that uh, Dasutin's kind of scary, and she's going to try to shoot him. Dasutin has a 16 armor class, so... Good news is... Ah, well, shit! I was going to say, good news is she's not going to do that much damage, but guess what? Max <laughs> rolls who don't... Got, who got shot? Dasutin? Dasutin got shot for eight damage, or for 11 damage. Ow. Yeah, this is, uh, whew, Monty. Oh, man, it's chaos here at the gate. Everyone's piling in. Bagheera's taking a guy's belt. <laughs> Two people have fallen asleep. Well, thankfully, I and have a plan. Yeah, that is a hit, Monty. You dealt six damage. Okay, you you shot her right in the neck. But she's still standing. She doesn't look very good, though. He does not look very good at all. Meserak, you have the key. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock the door. And the door has been unlocked. Make a perception check. Hey, something I'm actually good at. Usually. Uh, no. Hey, there we go. Refresh works. <laughs> you managed to not get. You managed to not get surprised by this attack that's coming at you. And a dagger has missed you as you see a another Moogle. And you also see, as you charge in, a Moogle right here. Oh, look, two Moogles. Yay. Mogwell is zonking. So no, I have a I have a plan though. Oh my yes. Familiar, my familiar doesn't go away. So what my familiar is going to do is he's going to spend his part of the turn smacking hmm. its like, beak in my face. I, I really just went and, went and read the familiar rules before even trying to do this. Uh, okay. The familiar is going to spend its turn smacking its beak in my face, trying to slap me awake, which is what you can do to get rid of the sleep effect. It does, yes. It has taken its action to slap you awake. And, and I believe that takes well, your action, though. No. Uh, it can just 
See, if that were true, then the whole help action beforehand wouldn't... It... Yeah, well... I think I also missed the part where Find Familiar is supposed to have its own initiative. Yeah, yeah I think I'm, they are. I'm, I'm, do you want me to go ahead and roll its initiative now? or Nah. Do you... Either way, what I would have asked to do was just a way to have it go after me. <laughs> just Nah, let's just, move, let's just move on before. with the combat. Okay, in the future, I will roll its initiative. I can't remember if it's shared initiative or if it is separate. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's separate. I'll take a look at what so I'm going to do is how no, Ryan did I'll, with his I'll, I'll fall Messerak through. I'll see the two Moogles, and I'll be like, yeah, no. And I'm going to send an Eldritch Blast right back in. Okay. Nope. Unfortunately, he dodges out of the way. Dasuten. And... Well, while, oh. like, sending the, sorry, while sending the Eldritch Blast, she's like, hi, Koopo. Hey, Koopo, what's up? Eh, you know, not much. Raiding a fortress. The the you the one that's been taken down, my girls? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. You know, they, they shot at me first. Oh, okay, well, hey, Cory. You know what to do. It's, it's like, Mago will point to the, like, arrows in him hey Corey, you know what to do here 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 anyway dasutin it is your turn i charge in with my long sword all right where are you gonna charge to okay do i have disadvantage or no you do not have disadvantage no you just roll your regular d20 plus four attack It, it would have been like this, by the way, Grand Kick-Ass. Yeah. Okay. Moving through the medium creature. That's a better I was just making sure, because the doorway's not that wide. Hold on yeah. one moment. I think I have a sting here. I do not. Okay. Ow! That kind of hurts, you know. You're not being very Koopo by just, you know, raiding my place, man. Uh, When, when he hears my place, I'm going to be like, Oh, you're those, uh, brothers guys, aren't ya? Yeah, you know what else is going on here? And I have evil plans. Mogwell, you're gonna fall asleep again. Uh, wait, are they recasting sleep? Yep. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> well, and well, here's then... the thing, because their normal sleep still takes effect. And that's what... Alright. Let's see. And nobody else within range is able to get affected by the sleep, so... That's that turn. Cory over here is gonna walk over, and he's going to take two attacks with his daggers. One at Mogwell and one at Messerak. Mogwell, this is a critical hit. Because you are unconscious. Uh, is that how the rules work, or is it just... Mm-hmm. No, I thought sleep rules was just, they got advantage. They go unconscious. Which, unconscious, when anything attacks you within melee range, it's automatically a critical hit. Alright, I'm, I'm just looking at sleep, too, because I'm like... I thought it was just, it was a specific condition. I don't, so... I don't, like, I believe you, I just... falls unconscious. You're yeah. going to take... Twenty-two damage as that sneak attack oh, goes off. Instant, doesn't instantly kill me, but very close. And then, yeah. as for you, Messerak, how does uh, how does getting not hit sound? As his offhand dagger misses you by a mile. Sound Destiny? good? Yeah, right. it missed. Okay. It is Bagheera. And as uh, Cory Gabbana finish up, finishes up his slash, the other Moogle, the one who casts sleep, is like, Cory, go see if the, the thing wants to, you know, give us a little boost. Oh, yeah. 
And so Corey's gonna dash off inside this house. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, <laughs> oh god damn it! I put him on the map layer. <laughs> I was gonna say. There we hey, go. He's on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the. He's part of the roof. Part of the roof. He is the roof. Yep, it okay. is Bagheera's turn. Um, I have a speed of fifty. Am I able to be over here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And because that is a Moogle, I got favorite enemy. All right, then. I suggest you fuck him up. I'll at least try to, anyways. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta remember to add plus two bonus. Okay. So. A shield of force pops up around the Moogle to protect him from Bagheera's bite. Ah. Damn, that was a plus six. <laughs> ah, this guy's okay. sleeping, and then this chick is gonna take a pot shot at Bagheera. Yeah, of course. AC is 14? 14. Yep. Bagheera takes 12 damage as an arrow sticks into his side as he's busy trying to fight the Moogle Mage. And, at this point, you guys do see a green mass worm its oh, way right. down the building. Right. What the... Not a gorilla. <laughs> and it just kind of looks around at you all, and you hear from inside, Go get him, Carrot! Probably so <laughs> it has hey guys, just look, as it's that pet we were looking for. Monty. Where is my hunter? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm assuming it has just as much reach. And I can fire through point. there, right? Are you sure you want uh, to do that, though? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, my my argument, both of, us are un both of us are unconscious. Both of the people that he'd be firing through are unconscious, so they'd be on the ground. Yeah, that's true. Monty, you could hit the, uh, you could hit that. Is like if if you're gonna say you'd have a disadvantage for this, I would argue that heavily. <laughs> However, you have been briefed. The pet's name you're rescuing is named Carrot. Fuck sake. <laughs> so we only want to um, mostly. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't do anything. It just spent its turn uh, slithering I, down I, the I, side. I, I, I That's true. I, I have no input because I'm unconscious. But you know. <laughs> This yeah. is where VR would have been very helpful right now. Um, <laughs> this is this is where it's nice that we have someone that can you know talk to animals like a ranger. You know, if only we had. I something can't talk like to that. plants. Marlboro is technically more plant-like than it is animal-like. It could still be a beast subtype, couldn't it? It's not sure. Yeah. Is it, is, is it's it... it's it's a plant. Yeah, you can talk to it. I can't talk to plants. I'm not a Viera. Uh, what a wait. Your ranger stuff, though. Rangers talk to beasts. Talk really? To animals. That's fucking animals. stupid. Yeah. Alright, Monty, what were you doing? Although... Were you shooting over here at this chick? No, I'm shooting at the, at the Moogle. Oh, at the Moogle, okay. A shield of force stops your arrow from hitting him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, still, know, it's still... The okay. shield of force still has not worn down yet. Messerac. There's unconscious and a sleep. Well, actually, no, just unconscious now, because I think the sleep effect falls if you go below zero. Eh. Well, you're going to have to make some death saves, definitely. But yeah, no, the sleep effect is definitely done for. No, he's not going to have to do a death save. <laughs> you're really wasting my uh, spell slots there, though, dude. Hey, hey, not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. I mean, you're taking a lot of aggro from, you know, being a destroyer of the era. Yeah, but I'm also preventing our allies from getting hit by being a destroyer of the era. 
That's true, Monty, yeah, you have not taken a something. single point of damage yet, and I think I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> oh god. But unfortunately, you haven't really been a threat either, so I'm not gonna really, you know... <laughs> and the reason that... my fault I forgot my arrowheads. Fault. Yeah, Mogwell. So... So, uh, you know, I'm... Well, let me just make sure I am reading this spell correctly before I do anything. But I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm going to do. We've been so, over an hour. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is, uh, I may have scaled this up a little bit too much. Hmm. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to step forward like this. Are you this. still prone? Uh, yeah, sorry. he spent he spends stand, half of his I'll, movement. I'll yeah. stand up okay. and I will move there, and then I'm going to cast enthrall on the, the on carrot. On carrot. Okay. Well, let's see exactly what that does, because I uh, heard... I will tell you. I have it right here. You have a distracting already... string of words causing creatures of you, your choice that can see you. That you that you can see within range and that can hear you make a wisdom saving throw. Any creature that can't be charmed succeeds automatically on the saving throw. And if they're fighting the creature, they have an advantage. We have not fought this creature yet. On a failed save, the target has disadvantage on wisdom perception checks made to perceive any creature other than you until the spell ends. Or until the target can no longer hear you. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. you know, I'm trying to keep its eyes on me. It's like, yep, oh, Carrot who's is... a good boy, Carrot? Good who's Carrot? a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Carrot is indeed mesmerized by your display, and it is Dasutin's turn. Well, one second. I was going to move even closer to it. Oh, okay. You know, I was, I was going to stay right there. It's like, I'm going to pet Carrot. You know, you know, in the background, I'm looking at my baby truck. But like, it's okay. You know, I still love you most. Just need to... That I need to do this first. We might not get to the second encounter. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dasutin, it is your turn. Intimidation again. Intimidation, okay. Don't make me, don't make me hurt you. Or I will. Okay, Kupo. Yeah. Uh, let's see that d20 plus 4 intimidation. Watch me fail. On, on, <laughs> it's funny, when you play a game of Moogles, the, you roll fail. the worst thing you can ro roll <laughs> as a Moogle, which is what I was about to say. Thank you for making me not jinx it. Call wait, it. wait, wait, what? You, you're trying to intimidate me? Come on, I think I'm going to show you exactly... What the Gabbana brothers are about, okay? I, I was really hoping he'd roll a nat 1 on it just to make <laughs> it even funnier, even though he'd have a reroll. Alright, Dasutin. Magic missile! You take 9 damage as he slams you with 3 <laughs> missiles of force. <laughs> Magic missile is a fun spell. I do not have it, but I have the Warwalk equivalent of the Eldritch Blast. Eh, except that requires an attack roll. Yeah. And then... I'm actually surprised there isn't, like, a invocation that's like, Eldritch Missile. Make Eldritch Blast count as Eldritch. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that Mughal appeared again. Yay. Hey! Hey! I see what you guys are trying to do there, and I do not like it. One attack Wait. on Mogwell and ooh, one attack ooh. on Bagheera. One second. Yeah? Would, would, he, would he be within 20 feet range over there? 20 feet range over here? Yeah. He would have heard me and he would be... Uh, he'd have to make a whiz save as well. So He would, was in the house. Could he hear me through the door? Nah. He's busy trying to scramble down the stairs. He's I, actually... Alright, alright. All right. Alright, I'll, I'll give you that one. It's, just... it's not He's an a... attack of opportunity by being behind Mogwell either, is it? It is not. He would have to not... move past me. He would have to move past me. And was... 
How's, how's he moving? Moving 25 feet? 20 feet? Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, he's moving right where he is. And like, Bagheera if, is going to... If he'd, move, if he'd move how he's going to move, then you'd have to... Unless I'm misunderstanding something. Pretty sure that's in AOL. No. Not in this game. Or not in this version. Right. Yeah, that's fun thing in uh, 5e. Only moving out of threatened spaces as attack of opportunity. Uh, also, Bagheera manages to, despite being distracted by this Gabbana brother, Bagheera manages to dodge a dagger that was going to go into his side. I'm just going to fucking remove this guy from turn order. He's zonked out. Wait, which one's zonked out now? The Bonga. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Bagheera feeling inspired is I really hope I typed it in right is going to try to bite the bong or the little ear. Okay. I hope I typed it right. If it doesn't I'm gonna have to Oh there we go. Uh yeah. Yeah, he hits. Twenty four and it, you have to question it? Jeez. I mean, it's not a plus 1d4. I don't know what that's for. Oh, yeah, favorite enemy. No, 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 no. Uh, inspiration. Oh, you get an advantage on the attack. You don't just add a d4. I thought it was... Uh, that's okay. bardic inspiration. Different. Yeah, that's inspiration. bardic inspiration. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Two different well, things. Still. Does a 20 I... at least work, then? Does, a 20 does, a 20 does work, yeah. Does, does, like, a 22 hit? Right. Like, do we need... Actually, no, go ahead and roll advantage in case you get that nat 20. <laughs> look, look, I'm just saying. Yeah, this has been a pretty tough fight. No. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you still hit it. Bagheera's gonna <laughs> probably, yeah. The favorite enemy, that's just on the uh, attack bonus. That's not on damage too, right? Uh, ah, I this will that. ah, this is gonna be fun. Unnerved Arcana. Da 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 da. Revised hey. Ranger. Oh, oh, revised Ranger. I was like, what? What? Ah, let's see. Did not know. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it not giving me favorite enemy on? Uh, what the shit is this? I think it is only on the bonus attack. I don't think it's on damage also. For some odd reason, it's not... Oh, there. Oh, f what? That's a fucking awkward placement. Okay. <laughs> no, it's damage rolls. Oh, it is to the damage as well? No, it's actually... If uh, what I read is correct, it's actually only to the damage. Which I figure is... Which is kind of awkward, but... I'm gonna have to reread that because I could have sworn it was to attack bonus as well. But all right, so minus four. It would still be a twenty to hit, so it don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't but... matter. It's okay. So if it is to the damage as well, that'd be a one d six plus six. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ow. Ow. Stop gnawing me. Ow. Koopo, you're being very uncoopo right now. Being very. Duh, it's a panther, it ain't a moogle. <laughs> and this chick. She is gonna. She's gonna do some fun stuff. That's what she's gonna do. Because she, sees... she keeps seeing people getting up and she doesn't like it. Yeah, Mog, well, just, just go down to zero again. Wait, As, no. Is she is she gonna risk trying to hit the hit carrot? Ah, oh, that's not in five E. No, I'm I'm just I'm just being honest. Would she try and attack someone that's right next to carrot when carrot seems She she has confidence in her shot. And also right. mechanically, uh precise shot's not a thing in five E. Yeah, that I do know. I'm just asking like as a character, would she would she risk it? Hmm. Alright, well, <laughs> Carrot is no I'm longer not enthralled. Do anything in this fight? Carrot is no longer enthralled, but uh, he seems very 
he seems very confused, and he's just gonna chill. Monty. Oh, and to land around you. You know what? No, carrots, carrots. You know what? Carrots just gonna go over here. That's what he's gonna do. That's all he's gonna do. It's Monty's turn. If I try and persuade someone, does that take up my attack action too, or it does? Why not be? Okay, never mind. Uh. I'm just going to go ahead and slash at this guy. Uh, that's an attack of opportunity. All right. You left uh you left the first Cabana brothers threatened space. Ah. What's your AC? Wait, 14. what was it to hit? Remember I have 16 AC. Just, just... No, no, Mogwell, you're you're fine. Monty is the one that's getting attacked. Well, no, I was talking or about the Viera. The Viera. No, she hit. All right. Rolled an 18. Uh, let's see. Monty, I'm sorry, but you're going to take some damage. I'm just going to be in a consistent state of up and down, up and down. Stop being such a big threat. No. <laughs> well, Monty, you take 11 here, damage as you're shanked in the side here, by... Here's my issue. If I stop being a big threat, other people are going to start going down, which we see right here. That is true. You guys have taken quite a few wounds now. Is like, that yes, that is indeed a hit. And do you want him to get killed, or do you just want him to go down? Oh, uh, go down. Okay. Yep. You. You know what? You just uh punch him in the face with your what is that? A short sword? A dagger? Short sword. Oh, short man. sword. Yeah, gotta, he's going down. Gotta get that uh pommel strike. Yep, it is a pommel strike, and he goes unconscious. No! Cory! Koopo, why? Why are you assholes attacking us? If my wall is up, there'd be many, many questions. <laughs> many, many questions about who's the Rs here. Um, I whispered to you. I don't know what the answer. It is. it did not. It did not. Uh, it didn't. Oh wait. What the fuck? Oh. It was before Dazitin's roll. Yeah, I see now. It is. It would actually cause. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Um. You then... could try different things. I don't have any, like, netting equipment or anything, though. That was kind of... There's there's certain skills that might help you with the handling of an animal. Yeah, like a nature roll. Or talking to them. Or the skill that's actually called handle animal. Is that yeah. in this game? Is yeah. Actually... Yes, animal handling. It's a wisdom <laughs> check. I am proficient in it. Okay, I thought that was nature. I apologize. No, nah, it's all I... good. I it's never okay. use animal handling. How the hell do I want to play this out? Um, can I try... Is it... I don't want to do this. Can I use a rope and try lassoing it in a way that is animal handling for the... Uh, you can talk to him, maybe? And you can... Sure, you can try to lasso him. That's not I mean, exactly animal wanna... handling, but... Well, I, mean, I just I guess it wanna... matters on how you word it. I guess is the best yeah. way to say that. Yeah. I just want to subdue it so it doesn't attack us, and we don't really have to attack it. It hasn't been attacking you. It it just kind of none of the above. The yeah. Only thing that's happened is I've like I've like I, I've <laughs> like and it's done nothing. So. Yeah, Mogwell Mogwell shushed it, and then it all it did was move <laughs> to the left. I think okay. the best thing you could do is either get me up again I'm or attack the Viera. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and attack that Viera with the pistol. Okay. Um. That is a hit, and she goes down because I know your min damage is enough to put her down. Boop. Guys, okay. Go back to time around and buy more rounds then. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. What do you... Why Why are you guys here? 
Yeah. And no, uh, this this dude just dropped right, his. Please, Mr. Rick, please just point to me and say he would have explained it if you didn't put him down. <laughs> Messer X, the, old, the reason why everyone's in this combat in the first place. <laughs> I, actually, correction, we're in this combat because Monty ran into a place without a real goal except asking for where Bill is. No, 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 no. You guys could have talked this out, but someone decided to get Trigger happy. To be fair, we know damn well we would have been in this combat anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I just true. wanted the first attack, so shut up. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna, unless any of you want to take other actions in combat, we're gonna end it here. Can, can I, can I get up? Yeah, you can get up. You can get up. Everyone's, everyone will stabilize. Alright. So that wasn't uh, killed. Mug will, will get up and be like, ah. So, uh, by, by the way... We, we just wanted to come here because uh, Carrot's original owner is very upset that Carrot went missing. Yeah, yeah, we thought we could get a nice ransom, okay? Well... Look, it's not easy surviving out here, Koopo. Hey, hey, I, I, I understand. I do. It's just... Man, you got this really nice fort, and you were able to hire all these people... How much did you even pay these guys? Well, <clears throat> they weren't exactly paid by me. I was just in charge. Well, the one up front said that he was a guard for hire. So if it weren't you guys, who was paying them? And some person in a mask calls himself the Night Dancer. The Night. Uh, A-N or I-N-G? Who's the night dancer? The night dancer. He's just a dude. He he has a mask, and he has daggers, and he's very scary and intimidating. Uh, Mog will we'll write down the name the night dancer, and actually our. Oh God! Brother... What is that TV sound? God. I think it's your brother. Firefly states is ruined. <laughs> what do you say? His quiet space is ruined? Oh, okay. <laughs> can I just type? Yeah, you can type. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get to the second encounter that I planned anyway. Uh, after okay, that so absolute am I disaster. Going to have to, am I going to have to handle the uh, Marlboro and try to coax it back to wherever it is we have to go? Oh, if you want to. So, um... So, Mo Mogul actually looked to the two Mogul and was like, How about... How about this? I will... I will pay you... This much, and he, he holds out the 200 gold that he has. And I will also pay you what I'm going to get paid for bringing this creature back. And in exchange... You two will serve me as my helpers. Uh, you're you're not in any sh you're not in any Even. shady shit, are you? Cause no, uh, no. I don't know. After after facing you guys, I I no, don't know. No, no, no. You know we're we're simple caravaneers, adventurers. I might ask you to go gather information every once in a while, and you know there might be extra rewards thrown in from whatever gear we get. You know what? Uh, considering that you're sparing us, Koopo, uh, I think that's a very Koopo deal. Uh, what do you say, Cory? Ah, yes, Cory. I think that's a very, uh, very Koopo idea. Wait, are they both named Cory? They are both <laughs> named Cory Gabbana, yes. Okay, so one's gonna be Cory. One, one's gonna be named, uh, one's gonna be named John A. John, uh, I'm sorry, Cory A. Cory B. It here. I will show you their names now. So, yes, I will... There we I go. Will... Ah. <laughs> I, I will <laughs> split... Uh, I will split them both uh, half of the gold I have. So they'll both get, like, 175, I think. Okay, good. Just, uh, what, what happens when uh, the Night Dancer comes back? 
Uh, so there, there's two. Uh, well, we won't be here. Uh, actually, are there? Is there anyone else that like would come here? Is it just gonna be that night dancer guy? Um, uh, mostly the night dancer and his cronies. Why? I was gonna recommend burning this place down. Uh, uh you know what? I think I can arrange that. Uh, Ma Magwell, like, his, his hands flashed with fire from him. I was like, I can make it happen faster. It's just, I'm just curious if you guys had any reason to keep this place standing. Uh, I mean, there's stuff inside. Uh, so, plan. You guys take that back to the cart. We're gonna, we're gonna... The rest of my crew, uh, you know, looking to crew, making sure they're okay with this, not trying to assume anything, is going to take the Margle back to the to the guy, and then I'm going to burn this place down. Does that sound cool with everyone? Do any of you want to search through the place with the Gabbana brothers? I'm currently dealing with this Marlboro over I here, mean, uh, so... I uh, mean, Margle <laughs> actually, uh, uh, how does Identify work? Can I just, like cast it overall in the room or do I need to find items and touch them and be like identify oh uh, it's it's like a vision type thing or no identify yeah oh okay uh, I believe you need to actually know an object is mad like detect an object object is magical all right well I'm asking because I can cast it as a ritual meaning it's for free it's just could I go around the room touching items and be like identify identify touch. identify <laughs> I mean, you could, yeah. Um, uh, you know, I'll I'll actually look at the two. Do either of you uh, happen to use the spell identify? Uh, no. Sadly, no. The uh, one of the night dancers. Or, his actually, uh... actually, even better. Do either of you have uh ritual spells in your books or whatever spell forms you guys have? No books. Fair enough. So, uh, my, the, the idea being is if anyone else wants to search the building, that's fine too. Uh, but, uh, Mogwell and the Gabbana brothers are gonna search the place. Mogwell is gonna, like, every once in a while, like, every third item, he'll be like, identify if something looks like it might be magical, just off of, like, he's like, oh, hey, that's a sword, identify. Isn't that only a spell slot spell, not a cantrip? Uh, no, no, it's a I, uh, ritual. I, can, uh, I cast that I mean, as a ritual, which is ten times the casting time, but I do it for free. Yeah, no ah. spell slot. Actually, hey, uh, this guy that's unconscious over here, can I go and take his sword real quick? You can go ahead and take his long sword, yeah. Uh, I will. Actually, <laughs> even better, let's put him in that convenient bush. <laughs> okay. Oh. I just deleted that, hang on. You know what, here, we know the convenient bush is there. Just gonna leave him in the bush, and if he wakes up and comes in, and is like, Hey man, we're all good. <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so he's in the convenient bush, and, like, right before I set off the fire, if he isn't awake yet... I'll wake him up and be like, hey, bro, now would be a good time to not be here. Okay, so uh, I'm currently dealing with the Marlboro, but can I use Bagheera and have him report back to me if there's anything that I might be interested inside? Like, sniff out the place, essentially? Not sniff out, necessarily. I mean, he can't... He has perception. I mean, he doesn't have to sniff. Um, I don't know, but... Yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry, yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, does anyone want to assist Bagheera? Monty? Dossington? Um, sure. Ma Mago, I mean, Mago's probably, like, helping the Gabbana brothers search, if anything. Alright, so whoever uh, really is... I'm looking for more ammo, but I don't think anybody used a gun, so... Okay, that Ooh. is Bagheera. Bagheera sniffs out some gold. 20 gold to each of you. Oh, nice. Um... Monty, uh, if you want to, you can make me an investigation or a perception check. Uh, actually, but uh... Mago, 
Mogul's gonna do, he <laughs> knows his little gold Strats. pouch. He's actually gonna go ahead and like split it in two if that's possible and label one with each color of the Cory brothers. Okay. And basically he's gonna split the gold in there and like this will be their payment later if they ask for anything. But yeah, uh anyway, as I was asking Strax before I was interrupted, uh Strax, Sorry. you can try investigation. Oh shit. I, well, I did. I fail at life. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Hey, if you guys are so bent on taking down, or you know, searching about the night dancer, here, okay, we have orders from him. Uh, it was to take. Was to take somebody to a fort down south. Uh, I don't Any know. Chance some that would be a Viera. It was a Viera, yes. Uh, they didn't say who it was, but, uh, we caught her out on the road, and, uh... uh actually, uh, Mog Mog will hold out his book. Uh, sorry, I, I forgot to mention this earlier. I need you two to sign here. He made, like, a quick signature line. We're not signing anything. Not again. Well, no, no. It's like, look, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm paying you. I just want you to sign this, you know... If you don't want to, that's fine. It's fine. Just, you know, thought we were on this trust level, man. Uh, look, we're... You guys, you guys kicked our asses, and yes, we're fine being paid by you. But, we... We already, we, we, there's contracts that we have signed before with the Night Dancer. And he was, it's... You can understand our our uh, level yeah, of uh. Yeah, Muggle, Muggle taps them both on the shoulder. It's like, I, I, I get you. I get we ya. we just want well, the gold, and we'll, we'll scout out for you. But you know, we're we don't want to be tied officially tied to you. You you get what I mean? All right, we can rediscuss this in the future if there's ever a reason that you guys would rather join me officially. But yes, thank I get you, what you're you. saying. Now, Look, guys, I just want to take this Marlboro back to its owner. I mean, I, I've been oh, holding it like this I, whole time. It's like, it's like, <laughs> uh, you haven't that, really that was, needed to. That that was that yeah. was part of the original plan. I was like, hey, if you guys don't mind taking that stuff back, like taking the Marlboro back, I was gonna search the, I was gonna search the place with the Corey brothers. You know, I yeah. trust them partially, but you know, I'm gonna keep an eye on them, make sure they don't like pocket anything essentially. Although I've paid them a really nice amount, I really hope they aren't stupid enough to pocket anything. <laughs> no, they haven't pocketed anything. Exactly. You do find 50 arrows among the Viera bodies. You will also find five more arrows each, except for the one who kept firing arrows. She has none. All right. Um, okay. Turn the car, please. Uh, type that. But, Does um, anybody else here have bows? Or am I the only one that's using uh, arrows it's, right now? It's you and Strax. Okay. So, for right now, Strax and I should probably put the arrows and maybe put some in the cart. Uh, what what are how are the Cory brothers like decked out? You know, one of them was using spells. Just uh yes, one of them was using spells, and he just has robes on him. He just has a dagger for protection. As their as their faux commander, you know, not complete, but like just like straight up, what's their class? If I can ask that or not. No, you can. Right. Cory Gabbana is a sorcerer, and other Cory Gabbana was a, a, a rogue, All which right. is why he dealt sneak attack damage. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. I just wanted to make sure before you know I started assuming things about what they might be able to do. But yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, Muggle's cool with having these two as his assistants. And as everyone returns to town. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, all the Vieras also had sets of leather armor. Doesn't matter, I guess, because I don't think anyone. Uh, I'll, I'll offer them. Uh, 
I'll offer either of them a set if they if they would benefit from it. I doubt it, but you know it's always an offer. Corey, the rogue Corey shows that he already has leather armor. And then I'm pretty sure uh, Sork Corey don't yeah. even get to use it. That's not gonna be confusing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's ro it's rogue Corey and Sork Corey. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, so what else was there? There was the arrows, the leather. Here, I'll um, I'll make it less confusing. While, while while we're in the place, I would have uh, I would have at least once like tried to do an Arcana check to notice if there's anything <laughs> magical in there. There is. Cool you can you. go ahead. Here, I'll make it I'll make it uh, less confusing. Uh, you do not detect anything magical. Alright, cool. I believe that's how you spelled that. There we go. There. Less confusing now? Sure. Mm. <laughs> I hope someone, at least one person gets this. Unless I'm not on the right map. Where, where is it? I, okay, never mind. Yeah, no, got it, got it. Holman Feldman. Corey Heyman, Corey Feldman, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, you do arrive in town, and people do see Carrot returning, and they look kind of repulsed actually, and disappointed. Actually, know it, know it, know it. Solution, <laughs> solution, solution. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Rogue Cory. I'm gonna call Sorcerer Cabana, and when I say Cory Cabana, I'm addressing both of them. All right. Uh, well, as I was saying before, you know, while describing everything, before I was interrupted, ye, you guys arrive in town, and people are kind of repulsed at the look of Carrot, and they kind of look disappointed that you've rescued him. But nonetheless, you guys march up to Tamarin Manor. With Carrot, and the guard goes, Oh, Koopa, it's you guys! Oh, look, no, and you... Actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. And you got, you got, you got Carrot! Again, but... Ah, yes, we, we got the, the wonderful manor owner's pet. Carrot looks overjoyed as the guard opens the gate, and... Messerak, are you still holding on to Carrot? Uh... With, I like, a leash. Go. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, you better let go, because uh, he, <laughs> he would have started dragging you across the lawn to rush inside to meet his owner. Yeah, I just asked for that rope back when you're done with it, then. <laughs> ah, you could go get it from him. I'll wait until it settles down a bit. <laughs> eh. And as you guys stand at the gate the guard escorts you to the front door so i assume the gabana brothers stayed back at the oh yeah the gabana brothers uh, have hightailed they're, hairy, it. they're hanging out in the caravan they've hightailed it into a bush and are just hiding i mean i, I would have told you like find yourselves a comfy place in the caravan meet them bison feed them if you don't mind <laughs> and as you guys are escorted inside then you are in gre you are indeed greeted by the old lord tamarin the elderly moogle in the fine green robes with the thick rimmed glasses ah kubo you have returned and you've also returned with carrots oh my wife has not been this happy in years oh please please here here your payment as promised and, also, you guys will get a nice, nice free stay at the inn. The local inn that we do call, indeed, the Marlboro Malt. Uh, Malt. Marlboro Malt. Jesus Christ. Even I'm starting to do it now. 
Thank you, Koopa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Koopo. Thank you. So I assume he's like handing out tickets. He hands you. He hands whoever looks the most leader like, so, Miss Sarek. Well, hey, hey. I'm the one that accepted the mission in the first place. That's true. Okay, yeah, you get the ticket. So. Right. It says, uh, let these guys stay free. All whenever right. they're in town. So, um, he'll... He'll... I, I, I don't know, like... He'll keep note that this ticket exists, and he'll give it to one of the other people. Like, as, after they leave. Like, glad to do you a service, Mr. Uh... I never actually heard your name. Me? Oh, I'm Lord Tamarin. Koopo. Good to know, Koopo. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Just in time for care to be returned. I have guests. I actually have a quick question. You know, the main reason we first entered this area. Mm-hmm. We were curious about a uh, Viera named Vili if she passed through here recently. I know of Vili, yes. A uh, quiet, quiet woman, but... Very honest merchant. I do like that about her. Well, uh, she. You... I haven't seen her in quite a few days. Uh, I have possibly bad news. We are. We work. We work for Billy, and she has gone missing. Oh no. Oh, that that cannot do. No, no, that is not very Koopo at all. Exactly. And my friend here, uh, pointing to Monty, he was very worried for her safety, and that's why he rushed in here as fast as he did earlier. Ah, uh, she must mean a lot to you, then. Monty she nods. Brought, she brought our jolly gang together, and in point, she helped us save Carrot. Because we were brought together. And otherwise, we couldn't have saved Carrot. Well, I haven't heard anything from her. But, if I do, I will send my quickest courier to track you down. Thank you. You are quite welcome. It's the least I can do for getting you to return Carrot to me. Of course. And if we ever come back to the Tamarin Estates, we'll make sure to come by and say hello. Ah, uh, that would be a Koopo idea. And, uh, Mogwold will look to, uh, look, give, like, a quick look to the other party members. Do they seem like they have anything else to say? Nope. Honestly, I'm just ready to take a nap at that hotel. That sounds nice. Well, then Mogwold will lead the team out of the, out of the manor. Uh, Dossetin has something to say, it looks like. Oh. But his quiet place is ruined, so we have to wait for him to type, because his quiet place was ruined. We have something to say. That's fine. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, don't worry. We got through one encounter. Oh, you got nothing to say. Oh, okay. Well then, never mind. Uh, yeah. So, uh, when they leave, uh, Mogul will give them the ticket, and he says that he's actually gonna. He's going to camp out by the f fire of the fort. Like, the fire that he made. You know, he he likes fire, so he's just going to chill there for the night. Okay. The rest of you want you to go... You can stuff us all. Are you sure you want to be outside? He... I, I will be fine, Koopo. It's not, it's not likely I'll ever have a chance like this again to hand to sleep by such a grand fire. And okay, well, before I go to sleep, I am going to go ahead and use the last spell slot, just in case you get woken up while you're outside. I'm going to have Monty get super drunk and try and perform with his flute in the inn. Can I roll okay, for that? Okay, as I will describe the inn to you first. Yeah, it's very obvious, the... Malboro malt 
because it has a very big Malbor wooden Malboro on top of its roof. And it has wooden walls that are... They have a slight green tint to them that makes them visually odd, yet also appealing at the same time. And inside, you do find people drinking, mostly Moogles, as this is the Tamarin estate. You find a couple Vieras, especially an older one. And the bartender is a Banga. You know what? No. You know what we haven't had? That bartender's a, that, yeah, that bartender's a, moo, a new moo. Because we haven't had one of those yet. Okay, the bartender is a new moo. Yeah, I'm just... I typed it so I didn't interrupt you. Um, Mogwell, I know it's wood. Don't get any ideas. Well, no. We He's... discussed this before. We discussed this beforehand, and no one disagreed. Mogwell said he was going to burn down the fort so that the Night Rider wouldn't have a place to go back to. This was that's discussed. not where we're going. We're going to the end of. Yeah, yeah. He knows yeah, every. No. Hey, everything's been established. Okay, Ma Master Ma Mogwell. Mogwell said that he was going to go hang out by the fire fort because he'd never have a chance to do this again. Oh, okay. Like. That's that's why I was saying he gave you guys the ticket because he was gonna go outside of town and hang out by that fort again. All right. Because it's on fire and he likes fire. That's that that was that's what was said. And yes, as you, I, I yeah, you guys remember the description, right? There's some Vieras, mostly Moogles. The bartender's a new Moo. Yeah. Okay. Monty. There is a performer on stage. It is a Viera that is playing a flute. If you want to try to join her. I shall. <laughs> well, shit. You, as you go up on stage and try to... Great. Play the flute. Uh, are you drunk by this point? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have you ha I'm gonna get you attacked with advantage at this point. Oh shit. Yeah, she kicks you right off the fucking stage. <laughs> you. You. You don't even get a dexterity save because of how drunk you are. You fall flat on your ass on the floor. Can I still try and play my flute? You, you, can, flute. <laughs> you can still try to play your flute even as you're on the floor, yes. I kind of face palm, just like, oh god. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> Your flute. Damn it, why'd I have to be a Moogle? Oh, well, shit. Yeah. Good that not be that... a Moogle. Yep, you managed to actually pick it up on the floor, but unfortunately, uh, people are starting to drag you outside now. Can I still play? I guess we gotta go help them, Koopo. Yep, no, they're no. dragging you by the shoulders, and as they're dragging no, you no, by the shoulders... No, no, now is the time to wave your ticket of where a lot of this... Your guys will have to stay free. <laughs> Damn it, Monty. We didn't Monty. do that, though, did we? No, but there's still... Have not, you're you guys still... have not done that yet, I don't think. Someone may want to be sober enough to give the bartender the ticket. Uh, I guess I have the ticket? Or who do... Uh, he, he, he would have handed it to Mesrak. Okay, Masarak, okay. you have the ticket, and the Numu, very nice fellow. I'm going to pop a Numu up on the screen for the stream. Oh, hey, that's right, I've never used it. I haven't used a Numu yet, never mind. <laughs> so it's not in my... Uh... I know I have one picture for you, but that's kind of a... I got, I got several Numu tokens, I just haven't used one yet for some reason. Oh, okay. I guess I'm racist. Pop, pop it up on the whole thing so I can also pop it up on the stream, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, I was just going to pop it up on the map, but no, it's it's too late. It's too late. Uh, where's my tokens? It's not too late. It's never too late. 
I say pop up a new moo. I say magic missile. There we there go. go. There, this is there a new moo, people. They're, They're very that's cool. Probably, that's probably a white mage, to be honest with you. It is a white mage new moo, yep. There you go. There well, you go. That picture, but is the bartender. Probably yeah, not. yeah, you know what? Yeah, why not? Bartender is a white mage looking guy. <laughs> Boom. Boom. So he helps the people that are intoxicated, you know. Yeah, and Anyways. he's. <laughs> I mean, if we're running off a of cleric, then he probably just has the domain that a domain that's like helpful to be an entertainer. <laughs> yep, but as Messerak hands him the ticket, he turns to his guards and says, "No, no, never mind. Don't, don't kick him out. He's with these people. These very nice people, I might add." Thank you, Kubo. However, people uh, look disappointed in you as one of them recognizes that you were the people that brought Carrot back in to town. Uh, did we do something wrong? Uh, it's... We were glad okay. that he was gone! His breath was stinking up the place! Yeah. Those things. Ah, uh, he never did the nature check to see if you could know that. I mean, out of character, I know this. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I did Cause... a nature check, and all I knew it was a plant. Thing. Yeah, you didn't meet the, you didn't meet the DC. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what it's, what's nature, even? Intelligence. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here is the lovely role for Mogwell. There you go. That's what Mogwool knows about the. Thing. You know the exact same thing as Messerac. They are plant-based exactly. animals. Exactly. Boom. <laughs> but Monty, you have stopped getting dragged and are now sitting in front of the door. Are not sitting, but laying in front of the door. I'm just gonna play my flute. <laughs> <laughs> And older Vieira walks over to you and does say, How barbaric. And she actually does snatch your flute from you. <laughs> Can I try and grapple her and take it back? Go for it. Uh... Okay. I'm going to have you roll that with disadvantage because you're drunk as shit. Get that note one so you can re- oh, no, that 12. <laughs> I was gonna say, it, it is a contested check for grapples. It is, yeah. Yeah, nah. Well, I shouldn't have rolled that high, but she would have broken the grapple anyway, even without the bonuses. Yeah. And, uh, she- as you try to grapple her, she deftly dodges out of the way. If you're, if you're going to continue grappling, you should probably start putting points in strength. And she... You need to excuse my friend. I mean, obviously he's intoxicated. He didn't mean that. I can see that he's intoxicated, and I suggest that you deal with it. Can I just hold on to his flute for him? Uh, I'll give it back to him when he's sober. You seem quite respectable. And she does indeed hand you... Monty's flute. I, try, I, I no, promise you that no. is a much Monty, better player. You'll, Monty, you'll get it now. back when you're... No, no. <laughs> you, can <whistle. laughs> you can whistle, sure. <laughs> We're gonna have PvP if you keep this up. <laughs> By the way, the uh, Viera looks like this. Boop. Boom. Boom. But she looks Boom. old. She looks old. There you go. Boom. There's a, there, That's a squire. Gonna start throwing out more classes. Uh, squire. Not squire, actually. This is from Final Fantasy Tactics A2, and it is a spellblade. Ah, uh, A2. There you go. That's why. But yeah, she does look like a m older Viera. And as Monty whistles and people start getting angry because you guys brought Carrot back with his bad breath, uh, 
Monty, you just get pelted with you get pelted with drinks and stuff. <laughs> and people start leaving the bar and they pour their drinks on you. Hey man, free drinks. Can I just try Does that to make drive me more drunk? The room? It does not make you more drunk, no. Can you what? Can I just try to drag him to like one of the rooms and stuff so he can sleep it off? <laughs> you can, yes. And the Nimu is can I just do it? <laughs> You can you can do it. He he can't resist that much. He's... Can oh. <laughs> no you know what? Yeah, you said it made you you asked if it would make you more drunk, yeah. You know what? Retroactive uh continuity. <laughs> They pour it all in your mouth, Monty. They pour all their drinks in your mouth as you're lying unconscious on the floor. That way they're trying to kill you through alcohol poisoning. Good thing we have poison resistance. At least I do. And you passed no, the... All of you are stout moogles except for me, so... And you pass the fuck out, because no matter how much poison resistance you have, you're just drunk as a fucking skunk. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna have my nose be just stuffy enough that it whistles when I snore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, you can go upstairs, Dasutin, and take a rest in the middle of all these shenanigans. Are we taking rounds because obviously some some people don't like us? I no, no, no. The the, the 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 everyone has left except for the new Mu bartender and the elderly Viera and the two Viera bodyguards that are at her side. Honestly, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, you can go to bed. You can drag Monty into a room and put him to sleep. Tuck him in. Hey, come on, Viera. We're going upstairs. Bagheera moves upstairs with you. You put Monty in a room. Mogwell's by the caravan. Dasutin is in a room of his own. And that will be session. Uh. Well... I feel, I feel accomplished. You know, I got nearly murdered a few times, put to sleep twice, and now I have two slaves. Yeah. I mean, what? Uh, I thought you, I thought that encounter was not gonna take as long as it did. <laughs> it, look, that that encounter is always a session long. Not really. No, I think it happened that with the fact that I decided to change one person from a normally a fighter to a magic user and then things started going terribly wrong as i started plotting to make him not only as protective as possible but also to put as many disabling spells on him that could not be saved against well also the last time i had yeah, that account we were easy. playing pathfinder and i could flank oh man oh man okay so flank. i do need to i i need to head out but yeah uh, last time I did that encounter, I played as a Nagaji Magus, and I sliced someone's head off with a great axe, and then one of the other players rolled a nat one on perception and tripped over that same head. He did. He was looking for potions as everyone else was fighting. Yeah. He was fighting, then, he was he was looking outside the fort too, as everyone else was inside. He, he was looking at the walls trying to find... Like a secret, like, door and potions and whatnot. Oh, by the way, that same player is the one that ended up killing the gorilla, and it was, like, with a critical rapier. It was, it was. Rapier and right up... His head... And I think he got his head cut off, but, like, a session later. Yeah, he got his head cut off a session later by a critical hit that dealt more than all of his life plus all of his constitution in a single blow. Alright, well... I'm going to head out, so goodbye stream, goodbye party, we had a great session and everything went perfectly fine. Yeah, um, except for that minor hiccup, but yeah, you know what, later, adios people, good people, bye.